on this video i'm going to be showing you how actually i managed to uh, keep or maybe to have healthy kids happy kids and also i'm going to be showing you how i normally try to make them to eat healthy foods and uh, fruits uh, without breaking the bank okay because i understand that we are in high 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 inflation in turkey but regardless of everything we normally try to keep our kids happy and also healthier by actually uh, letting them to eat a lot of fruits and a lot of fresh uh, vegetables so today my little kids they want to try this dragon fruit and uh, my husband got them and also other fruits and i'm going to be sharing with you also some of the things or maybe grocery shopping uh, for uh for the week so that you have an idea of uh, what you can you can actually get from the turkish markets or turkish bazaar so this one i don't know if they're gonna like it this is i think the second time for my kids trying it the first time they tried they were little they didn't like it okay so let's dive in and see <laughs> Mama, yeah? Yes, sir. What is it? Today I'm going to be showing you some of the stuff that uh, we normally shop each and every week. So today is uh, on, I think today is on one. On Tuesday, we normally have market days or bazaar. So what we got, we have here some fresh zucchini. We have bananas. We have some fresh, uh, what do we call this one? Red chili or paprika? I need you to tell me in the comment section. I have some, uh, this one, these tomatoes, but they are good for salads. This one these are organic they are so so good okay i have some eggplants i have some peaches i have some what do we call this corn and i have this uh, turkish i have some turkish what do we call turkish cheese cottage like homemade cheese with black seeds inside i have some uh, olives and here i have some fresh beans this i, I don't know what the name <laughs> I, I will have to ask my husband but they are similar like cucumber but they are not cucumbers we normally eat for breakfast okay i have some lemons i have some these are coriander some uh, these leaves uh, i don't know the name uh, we normally use them for salads and also for fish i have some um, crepe uh, crepes and also we have these black ones I have some big watermelon and I got some tom potatoes and some onions okay so these are all for the week like our weekly shopping grocery shopping also I have here some spinach that I want to wash to clean wash. and I have some and fish okay you can see it is looking at me what are you doing so we're gonna be eating today these ones i'm gonna be washing them it's so much work to wash them but okay. so guys let's cook some corns my kids love corns a lot so i normally prepare for them so these are just some some of them that we got from the market so i'm gonna boil them for a few minutes then we're gonna be i'm gonna be giving them to eat meanwhile uh after they have breakfast most of the time i normally love to give them fruits uh 
just when they are actually playing around, seeing their TV. So today I'm so going I to want be to giving take them these for um, my these are kids to uh, eat. crepes and also some I uh, hope cucumber. They, no, no, no. So this I'll one are peel, super uh, sweet. They're they gonna like peel off and then uh, I'm gonna these put on these like little plates, two of them. After breakfast, and then they're they gonna need be something actually to eat. sitting down where they are watching the TV while they are eating. Because let me tell you, kids normally do a lot of stuff. One. It's not just only uh, like they want this, they want this, and they want this. And most of the time, if you have candies or maybe mm. a lot of things in the house, they forget to eat their fruits yeah. and also take the like the vitamins from the fresh fruits. Okay. So this is what I normally do uh, before they eat anything. Like let's say like some candies or some sweets in the house. I'm going to tell them I have a surprise for them and I'm gonna see how they're gonna react. I want you to see how they normally react. Don't eat food on bed. Calm down. Why? It's very dangerous. You're gonna fall down. We only sleep. They come the mighty calm down. Kuzli <laughs> Kapat! I have a surprise. Kuzli Kapat Dio. Kapat and Jim, yeah, I am stuff I need a Ach Wakim Ach Sophie Sophie Did you like it? I'm a son of the Likuze, Chokuze, Vitamin Ba Chokuze, Kuze. It's good for your health. Eat. Did you like me? Did you love it? You see what Mustafa did to. Adrian, so Adrian has taken something, a tissue. I have put a tissue. Adrian, can we see? She can't back him. Mustafa napped it. No. She's wrapping this, this because Mustafa bited uh, her while they were eating lollipop. So I have to put something, but she keeps, if I put the, uh, the, the band, she keeps on removing it. So for now, I had to put some tissue and then just to make her cool down. Is it okay? Did you like it? Bend them up too, please. I'm mafious. So these are the fish and I want to clean them. Hmm. These are one of the types of fish that you're going to find here in Turkey in most cases. These are the smaller ones and they are highly enjoyed, like people love them. So I want to show you how to clean. Already this one have been cleaned. Uh, all the intestines have been removed so I'm gonna show you how I normally clean so these fish or maybe the smaller fish you're gonna see them most of the time especially if you are in Turkey they are so common we have the larger ones and also the small ones today we are going to be eating the small ones so I normally remove the black thing you see like blah like something like that like soil and then just clean it well and then remove the head I don't like or maybe I found them not liking their head the smaller fish we don't eat them okay so and then there is a uh, this how do we call them the scales uh, fish scales or something <laughs> extra stuff you can use your hand or you can use a knife to remove that skin at the outer layer that uh, you d we don't need it so we're gonna clean everything like that to make sure that we are actually having a clean fish now some people what normally they normally do or you can actually do this this way or if you want you can still uh, I have seen a lot of times um, a Turkish men uh, Turkish people uh, let me just Turkish women rather uh, what they normally do is actually to take uh, this small fish and then remove the what we call the bone okay that bone the bones that are inside so let me show you uh first you clean you clean everything because i say this type of fish they are already been cleaned so it is just for you to clean one more time and then you remove everything like that and then you remove that the, that what we call the bones that that little bone i don't know then the right name if i'm using the right name but i guess you're gonna understand what i'm saying and then you can fry like that okay but for me i just prefer to actually do what 
uh, to clean and then I'm gonna be showing you how you can actually do what fry them so this is how people normally remove uh, you see that bone I'm um, talking about the bone <laughs> the backbone or <laughs> the backbone of the fish or what okay so you can remove now this type of fish it is difficult sometimes it can be very difficult to remove the same way but we have still the same uh, smaller fish that are so easy to remove that uh, this one the bones okay So everything is clean. It is around um, evening hours. I want to make the dinner, the fish that we had actually prepared. But before that, I have to fill the oil, uh, the jar. So in Turkey, we normally use uh, olive oil most of the time, like for, for our, in our home. We harvest the olive uh, and then we extract the olive oil and then we store and then we just, uh, if we want, we can uh, refill the jars. Okay, so today I'm be, I'll be refilling these jars and then uh, we're going to be cooking. I'll be cooking the fish. I hope you're going to enjoy the rest of the video because it is like uh, some sort of dinner stuff. But I'm just like i know the, the video is mixed up but i'm gonna show you how i normally do it so that if you are in turkey if you are uh, like you find yourself maybe in a turkish home you can have uh, or, or maybe you can be familiar with some of the things that you might encounter okay so we fill the jars and then we keep uh we're gonna be using for today's uh, fish okay can see our fish is ready I already like I already clean it and I want to marinate it so normally what I normally do I use this one uh, to marinate my fish and I'm gonna put some some salt okay I'm going to add in some cumin going to squeeze in some lemon so those are the three things I normally, I normally use to marinate my fish also I'm gonna add in olive oil okay I'm gonna mix everything together like so in our fish and then we're gonna mix everything together you see some people prefer to make like this one uh, if you want to remove the bone for me it's not a big deal because I'll fry and then remove when I'm eating okay so we want to make sure that the fish is actually getting all the juices. My little kids are actually shouting each and every time. Playing, shouting, making noise. And they are super happy. Okay, so this is it. And then we just make sure that the, it is fully covered with the... And I'm going to put in the fridge for so the maize are done like they are ready the corns so i want to remove them and we're gonna be eating with my little kids my little kids love 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 maize corns meanwhile i have to make my turkish coffee and sit down and rest to make my turkish coffee i take this way this one i have some coffee here i need to buy more so i'm gonna scoop one full 
tablespoon and at least a half for one person I'm gonna get some water and I'm gonna add in some sugar okay I'm gonna give it a mix I'm gonna put on fire meanwhile I'm eating some these crepe fruits normally they normally use some candies I don't like candies I don't eat most of the time I, I like candies add in some water here and wait for the oh it has started bubbling Now I didn't show you the way I normally fry my fish so what I normally do is actually to after marination I just take them and use either corn flour or maybe the normal baking flour all purpose flour and then add little bits of salt and then just tap like add little by little um, the fish one by one and then I'm gonna deep fry them in in the olive oil uh, just like you are seeing on my screen. Okay, they are so easy. They do not take a lot of time to actually cook or be ready uh, Remember You don't need to do all this if you already like if you already marinated You don't need to add a little bit of salt or stuff or spices on the flour But for me, I just prefer that way little by little. So let's uh, uh, Fry the fish and then later I'm gonna sh you will see me making some salad and that's how we normally end up making our dinner okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video i'll see you next in my next video bye